Welcome back. Let's take a look at the business news. And Kenya faces an annual wood deficit of 16.5 million metric cubes, exacerbating its reliance on imported furniture and straining its economy with a demand for 10 million doors each year. The nation grapples with the consequences of importing furniture, lacking repairability, maintenance, and functionality tailored to local needs. The informal Juakali sector plays a vital role in Kenya's furniture industry. However, the mostly informal artisanal furniture sector in Kenya are now saying they are facing a frustrating number of licenses with limited support in terms of service delivery. We all know that we, we are importing too much while we have the resources here, while we have the, the human resource and also the natural resource here. It only needs leadership and market integration to produce competing products so that we minimize uh, imported products from, from abroad. We can import the technology, we can import the accessories, but we need to produce the furniture here. You'll find that we use furniture from out of the country, mainly China, uh, Turkey, and other countries. And uh, we tend to go to them and uh, bring the furniture back into our offices. And they are not long-lasting, that's one thing, but very expensive to bring into the country. It goes into uh, hundreds of millions, which I may not even be able to say exactly, because it's across government. The Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Nairobi County Chairperson James Moura, acknowledges the need to address deforestation, but cautions against measures that might stifle domestic businesses. With new technology, you can re with new technology, you can do a lot of refurbishment on this. That will make uh, timber also to be easily available for us because we are able to recycle the same. The Kenya Forestry Research Institute has raised environmental concerns. Nelly Odor, the National Programs Director at Kefri, says Kenya's indigenous tree cover has been depleted and with 89% of the land classified as semi-arid. Of the species that is having more than 30% it can uh, sequester more than 30 percent co2 carbon dioxide than broad-leafed species so this is something that we are also promoting bamboo is one of the species that we are looking at raising 30 percent tree cover so we are getting there of course as the government having hosted the african climate change summit we are part of it. The University of Nairobi's Art and Design Department is taking a proactive approach, educating future designers on importance of respecting cultural diversity. Already we have a problem that Kenyan furniture is not identifiable. Whatever is imported is branded Kenyan, and whatever is Kenyan is branded foreign. So uh, the rich culture that we can get inspiration from can contribute to what we are producing right now, especially for, specifically for this furniture uh, industry. Uh, th there is already a group of students who are already specialized, trained and specialized in identifying local culture that can be used to uh, move our industry forward. By fostering innovation, promoting responsible forestry practices, and supporting domestic businesses, Kenya can achieve its economic goals, reduce carbon emission, while protecting its precious natural resources. The business community now, together with the Juakali sector, are calling on the government to streamline the furniture policy. This comes as Kenya hit a 16.5 million mark annually of wood deficits. Sophia Ali reporting for